I said I was gonna do the vowel adjustment the same video, but I lied. I'm just gonna make this a uh, separate video from the vowel adjustment video. Sounding good. All right, day number two. So today, in today's part of the video, dang, it's sunny today, boy. So yeah, in today's part of the video, we're gonna be doing a valve adjustment on the SI, on Dusty the SI. Um, I couldn't do it in the last video because it was getting dark and I didn't want to be outside with all the mosquitoes. So I'm gonna do it today. It's kind of hot, it's kind of windy. It's, not, it's all right, but yeah. Um, first, this is gonna be my first time ever doing a valve adjustment, so I don't really know how this is gonna go. And some freaking animal peed on my wheels. Bro. Why? Why? What what did my wheels do to you guys? Why you guys came and peed on my wheels? <laughs> uh. Alright, so I'm just probably just gonna switch over to the GoPro to make it easier while filming. Um it's a very simple process, just take off the valve cover. Well, it looks simple. It's my first time doing this, I don't really know. But yeah, just take off your valve cover and then uh Take off your passenger side wheel. I don't know what socket it is that you could get on the crank. I think it's a 19 or something like that. And literally just keep cranking. I'm gonna show you guys, this is really simple. Probably put like a picture of like the instructions on the side too. So the wheels off, car's jacked up. Let's switch to the GoPro. All right, on the GoPro, let's get it. So the first thing we're gonna do is obviously take off the the crow, crow, whatever that crap is called. We're gonna take it off, take off your wind wipers. That's the only way you're gonna be able to get your valve cover out. So once you get past that step, yeah, man, it's pretty simple after that. So um, to remove the valve cover, is gonna be two bolts that's holding this bracket in right here, this ugly looking bracket. And then that should be it. You should take off those two brackets, take off your uh, spark plug cover, take off these nuts right here. I think they're all 10s. And then, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. So let's get it. <sighs> all right, so here's my 10. Two, just uh, wait for me not to lose stuff. The spark, not the spark plugs, the coal packs. There we go. And those coal packs are tens as well, I think. Yep. All right, so now since those bolts are out, just want to take out this one, this one, this one, this one, and that's crazy. I don't have one there. I don't think I'm supposed to. I think I'm, I think I'm supposed to have one. Maybe not. Okay.
right, all four is out. Just pull out these covers, these coil packs. Oh, first, like I, what I like to do when I pull out my coil packs, I like to label them so I can know which one is which. So I'm gonna be right back with a marker, some blue tape so I can label these things. All right, so valve cover is off, and boy, boy, she is clean. Look at that, that's a clean valve cover right there, boy. That thing is clean. Uh, these still feel nice and soft, so I'm not gonna change these things. They don't feel brittle. Look at that. Yep, still nice and soft. So these don't have to get changed. Um, don't really know where I want to put my valve. Probably put it right here. Put a cover on it. Get a cover. All right. So let's look at them valves, boy. Valves look good. It's a clean engine. Ooh, dang clean, boy. That's a clean engine right there. All right, guys, so I switched back to the camera because there's nothing really else for me to show you guys on the GoPro. But um, basically, the cover's off. So now I'm just going to show you guys like how do you adjust it and how you get it to top dead center on each cylinder. So the way you do it, it goes by the firing order. So I think it's one, one, three, four, two. I don't really know, so you guys go look that up. I'm gonna put the link on how you do this in my description so you guys can have like a little little help guide to help you guys. So what you're gonna do, get your extendo wrench or any type of wrench that can reach your crank and your, dang, you guys can't even see that, to reach your crank. And your crank pulley bolt is a 19. So what you're gonna do, well, I'm gonna show you guys how to do one. I'm just gonna show you guys how to do similar one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna crank it until it gets to top dead center. You know it's top dead center. Ah, oh, damn, can I show you guys this? All right, you'll know top set, top set dinner where ah, top dead center when this arrow is pointing up. There's another arrow on the other sprocket right here that's pointing up. And there's going to be two lines in the middle that's going to be like, like parallel from each other. And that's how you know top dead center is done. And that's for cylinder one. And uh, yeah, basically it. And after that, you want to get your fuel gauges. Make sure you guys have these. So what I have is exhaust. And I mean, what I have is an intake and two exhaust. That's for the K24Z7, and uh, yeah, that's what's, that's what's in the car. So um, yeah, basically what you wanna do is get your filter gauge, it's for the intake, and you just wanna like feel it in it. So you'll know your car is adjusted, like your valves are adjusted if it has a tight little, uh, tight little, what's it called, pull to it. It has a little drag. Now if you can't drag it back and forth and you don't feel that tension on it, then your uh your valves are now adjusted so yeah this is for your intake you only need this one and for your exhaust you only need you only need a 10 zero what is this 0 0.010 so yeah i'm tired guys it is hot outside like when i said it's hot like before it was nice windows blowing and out of nowhere florida said you when there's like hot breath everywhere bro it's crazy but yeah, I'm gonna finish up this install. Well, not install. I'm gonna finish up this adjustment. And then yeah, it's gonna be it for the video. You guys probably gonna wonder like, oh, he didn't tell us how to put the valve cover back. It's really simple. You change the gasket. You put uh, like your gasket maker on each side, each four corners of the engine. You put a gasket. I mean, you put the valve cover back on and that's really it. And you just tighten everything down and put everything back. Reason why I'm not gonna show you guys how to put it back on is because I'm gonna paint my valve cover, so stay tuned for that video. But yeah, I'm gonna fast forward this part, show you guys, you know, when everything's adjusted. Let's get it. All right, so for my cylinder number three, one of my intake valves are a little bit too tight, so I'm gonna adjust it. Um, all you really need is a 10 millimeter and your, you know, fly head, so you go unloose the the screw on top. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get the 10 millimeter. 
I'm gonna put it on top of where I need to get loose. So right here. Let's get a good angle on it. Right here. And then I'm gonna crack it loose. Also, I forgot to mention, after each one you tighten, well, each, after each bolt you break loose and you adjust the valve, you could, uh, once you tighten it back, it's, uh, the specs for you to tighten it, the torque specs is 14 pounds, so make sure you tighten everything at, I mean, make sure you tighten everything to 14 pounds. Bro, I could barely talk, bro. This heat is, like, draining me. But, yeah, make sure you tighten everything to 14 pounds, every bolt that you break loose. All right, guys, so all the valves are adjusted. I probably have, like, two valves that I had to adjust. It wasn't even like crazy adjustments, so it was just tiny, get it a tiny little bit so I could have more drag because it was a little loose. But yeah, man, the car's good, everything's tightened, everything's torqued. Um, yeah, so now all you guys have to do is just put the valve cover back. If you look at your uh head of your of your car, it'll show you like each position where you should put the gasket maker. And y'all, I hope you're using Honda Bond, but yeah, if you, or if you look at the valve cover itself. If you look at, look at the uh, valve cover gasket, you'll see like little marks of like Honda Bond. So it lets you know where you put your uh, your maker back. So yeah, man, that's gonna be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Your boys out. Peace.